Hey, folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is Monday, March 5th, 2018. Take a look at General Electric. I bought this, uh, I actually bought the calls late last week. I believe it was on Thursday or Friday we picked them up when we were right down here. I did it for a couple of reasons. We just took a 22% profit on them today, um, and I want to show you the reasoning behind it here, folks. Bottom line is, you had a bottoming tail here, and I really feel more confident owning a stock or owning the call options on a stock when the stock has very low expectations. So if you think about it, right... Um, you know, if you buy Amazon here, Amazon has sky high expectations. If you're buying Netflix up here, sky high expectations. General Electric GE has no expectations. People think it's the crappiest of the crap right now. That's what I like to see. If you take that mentality and coordinate it with a chart bottoming tail right here, and you start to see buyers stepping in. So what I mean by that is if you take a look at late last week, we saw some huge down days, right? 300, 400 points on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Notice how GE pulled back, but it never took out the lows while the market was making short-term lows. So that was a very important thing for me to see. What that shows me is accumulation. Someone was accumulating it. Big boys were buying it. I want to be on that side of the trade. So again, the bottoming tail here, the low was never violated on a closing basis. You had a pop up here and it rallied and then the market came down and brought it back in for us to buy. Never took out that low. We bought the option, the call options right here. I bought the June 14 strike. I think I paid $1.17 and we sold today for $1.42. And sure enough, you can see the pop today. It's up basically 3%. We actually sold nearer the highs of the day on those options. Beautiful job there. And again, I mean, it's it's just that simple. I mean, you find a good chart set up. You find a stock that everyone hates. It's right there for the picking for an options play. And we did that in the in the options alerts at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Now, I also took another profit today. I told you guys about this one on Friday. I actually posted an article about it. I bought the call options on Walmart because we came down. The stock was oversold into the 200 moving average right there. This was a no-brainer for a quick snapback bounce. That's exactly what it did. Friday, we were already up on the trade. We bought we bought these call options on Friday, by the way. We bought the 90 calls, the June uh, expiration 90 calls. Uh, I think I paid $3.50 for them. I think we sold them today at four t $4.30, I believe. $4.30, $4.30. And again, just another simple, literally we held it for 24 hours of market time or less. I mean, basically from Friday when we bought into Monday morning. And right here, folks, boom, right off of it, there's another 20. I think we made about 23% on this trade here in literally uh, just holding it from Friday into Monday. So again, you know, it's all about finding these key chart setups. If you find these key chart setups, you're going to be in great shape to maximize profit. And again, you know, it's very rare that a chart like this on an oversold, you know, we're talking about Walmart here. Walmart's not going to just go to oblivion and go to zero, right? There's obviously something behind it. There's a great business. It's a huge business. It's a profitable business. Pays a dividend. If you're buying it at a strong technical support area after dropping from like $110 down to almost 85 bucks uh, straight pretty much, I mean, you're probably in a good position to profit. So if you're not getting these trading opportunities, there's something wrong. These are very simple. You know, it's just like kind of like picking your, you have a money tree in the backyard, picking off literally $100 bills whenever you want them off these type of trade setups. You know, here it is. Come join us at InTheMoneyStocks.com. And again, you can just join the options alerts. And, uh, you know, really, simply put, I can actually show you guys the options alerts, the track record right here on the page. Let me bring this over for you guys to see. It's always a little complex to get the chart up when I'm not prepared. But here's InTheMoneyStocks.com, right? So if you scroll down here. Here's your options alerts. Click on that, and it's right here, folks. Let me just center it a little bit better. Here's your options alerts, and here's the track record thus far this year. I mean, it's stellar. It's stellar. I think we'll have one stock expire worthless or one options play uh, at the March expiration, but other otherwise, all the rest of them are basically you know doing awesome here. And these these are by the way these are closed out, so we've taken these profits already, 680 percent in profits, net profits. All right, we have some open positions, as I said. Uh, those are doing pretty well as well. Just looking for the opportunity to take profits on some of those. And I actually just put out a new options today, um, play in it. And again, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you can come and join the service. And literally, I mean, we're talking about a hundred bucks. I mean, even even a micro trader with a few thousand bucks should be making a hundred bucks on most of these trades. 
And if you if you made all of them, you're obviously up exponentially. But I mean, you know, I'm trading with a you know not a huge. I don't put a lot of money in options myself. You know, compared to stocks, it's about you know one tenth of the amount I invest in a stock. I put in an option because options obviously are much much riskier. But then again, I mean, you're making these type of profits. I mean, here we made 103 percent on Honeywell. You know. Um, 80% on CF, 78, 79%. I mean, when you're making basically 10 times, you don't have to. You're basically going to still net it. And it's all about the long game. I mean, investing, whether you're doing options or, or stocks or, or currencies, you know, whatever you're doing, the long game is has to be where you're focusing. If you're trying to make a million dollars overnight, that's where you make the wrong decision and you end up going bust. So again, folks, I strongly encourage you to come join the options alert. Let's make money with us. Make it the right way. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Take